Shanti, good morning and uh, happy Valentine's Day to our dear Baba. So Valentine's Day is a day of love, a day to celebrate love and to share your feelings with the one you really love. And actually the word Valentine is uh, a Latin word and it stands for strength. So you remember the one who is the source of strength in your life. So we remember the source of spiritual strength. We remember the one who we get so much power from so that we can work towards purifying ourselves and become that perfect version of our own self. 
And when you see on Valentine's Day, it's usually shared by exchanging of red roses. And the color of the rose is red. And red really stands for power. Red stands for strength. And even red from all the other colors has the height as a the frequency that it can be seen from a distance. You can see the color red from a distance, and that is why even our traffic lights we have red. It really stands for stop. So there is a significance of this color. It stands for strength. It stands for something which we can even see from a distance. Right, so how we receive Baba's strength, and even though he's in the soul world, right, he is in another world beyond, but our love brings even the Supreme so close to us, so close to us that he has to leave his abode of silence and come into this world, and that's really the power of love, and in uh in this morning that we are going to uh, share, talk about and read, really Baba is emphasizing on being holy and being uh, the highest because our holiness, our purity uh, is what contributes towards making a better world. Just by me having pure thoughts, I'm contributing towards the creation of a beautiful new world. And uh, Baba always talks about blessings, that you give blessings, you receive blessings. And in one worldly, Baba had specified that when you are soul conscious, you're automatically receiving blessings. So it's so easy just by me being in the awareness of the true form, I'm receiving blessings, blessings from Baba. And then, of course, when I'm in that true form, I'm radiating good wishes to others in a very natural way. And because I'm giving out the vibrations to them, what I will attract from others is also those vibrations of peace, those vibrations, uh, those feelings which are meant of, you know, which are of goodwill. So it's beautiful how, um, you know, this day, this day of Valentine reminds us of who are, who is really a source of strength in our life and how we celebrate that. Now, Baba says, celebrate, celebrate by becoming equal. So I have to be equal to Baba in my thoughts, words, deeds, and then celebrate this beautiful day with them. So now we'll go ahead and I will listen to Baba's Murli, which was spoken originally on February 2nd. Just hold, I'll bring it up real quick. February 2nd, 2007. And the title of this Murli is The Sign of a Soul full of godly attainments, highest, richest, holiest, highest, and richest. So today the world transformer Bab Dada has come to meet his companion children. He is seeing three special attainments on the forehead of each child. Highest, holiest, richest. Holiest because of a purity, highest, the role we play in this world, our part in this world, this, that of a hero actor, highest, and the most uh, wonderful uh, part, and riches, riches, why? Because we become spiritually rich, we earn an income which is imperishable, lasts for more than half a cycle. So the foundation of this knowledge is holy, that is to be pure. So each child is holiest. Purity is not just celibacy, but purity in thoughts, words, deeds, relationships, and connections. Just see, 
You, godly Brahman souls, are the holiest in all three aspects of time. The beginning, the middle, and the end. First of all, when souls reside in Paramdham, you are the holiest there. So Baba is reminding us of our, what our stage is before we even start our journey. We are in Paramdham. And in Paramdham, we are the holiest there. Then when you come down in the beginning, you are the holiest souls in the deity form. The speciality of a holiest soul, that is, of a pure soul, is that of remaining completely pure while living with a family. So it's about following the Srimat and you have to be in the family. This is a household path, family path. So others to become pure, but the speciality of your purity is that Impurity doesn't touch your mind and intellect, even in your dreams. In the golden age, your souls are pure and your bodies are also pure. The purity of both the soul and the body of the deity souls is elevated purity. Just as you become the highest on high father just as you become sorry the holiest in the same way you become the highest you are the highest of all brahman souls and you become the children of the highest on high father in the beginning paramdham in paramdham you are the highest that is, you reside with the father. In the middle too, you become worthy of worship souls. Such beautiful temples are built to you and you are worshipped with such discipline, with the right method. You, your duties, your new du deities are worshipped in the temple with the right method. Similarly, Temples are built to others too, but only your deity form is worshipped with the right method. So you are holiest and also the highest. Together with that, you're also the richest in the world, it is said. Richest in the world, but you elevated souls are the richest in the cycle. So it's not about just one word, birth and being rich in one birth, but it's being rich, spiritually rich, and having full of, you know, even, even rich in terms of prosperity. The Baba always reminds us it's purity, peace, prosperity, all three together. So because of our purity, we are in, we enjoy being in the golden age, silver age, we enjoy being in heaven, where there is peace, purity, prosperity. So we are the richest in the cycle. You are the richest throughout the cycle. Do you remember your treasures? How many treasures are you the master of? The imperishable treasures that you attain in this one birth, in this one birth, last for many births. No one's treasures last for many births. However, your treasures are spiritual. And because they are spiritual, they last for many births. The treasure of powers, the treasure of knowledge, the treasure of virtues, the treasure of elevated thoughts, and the treasure of the present time, all of these treasures last for birth after birth. The treasures attained in one birth go with you because you have attained them from God, the Father, the best over of all treasures. So do you have the intoxication 
that your treasures are imperishable. You have become easy yogis in order to attain these spiritual treasures. You accumulate the treasures with the power of remembrance. Also, at this time, you are carefree emperors who are full of all treasures. Do you have any worries? Do you? Because these treasures cannot be stolen by any thief, no king can eat, take them, nor can water drown them. And you are therefore carefree emperors. That means our income is safe. Our income is free from being taken away due to stealing or due to anything else. It's secured. And because of that security, we become carefree emperors. So these treasures always stay in your awareness, do they not? And why is remembrance easy? The basis of having greater remembrance is relationship and attainment. As the Baba says, have all relationships with me. Uh, and uh, remember your attainments. The Baba says, when storms of Maya come, start remembering your attainments. Yes. So it's important that we pay attention to these two because because of these two, our love for Baba becomes stronger and stronger. And when there is more love, naturally the remembrance is there of that soul. The lovelier the relationship, the more natural your remembrance is because there is love in the relationship. When there is love, it is not difficult to remember the one you love. In fact, it is difficult to forget that one. So what, what is Baba says? There's no effort in remembrance here. When you have love for someone, deep love for somebody, they will automatically, our intellect will be drawn to that soul. So the father has created the basis for all relationships. Do all of you experience yourself to be easy yogis? Or are you yogis who find it difficult? Is it easy or is it sometimes easy and sometimes difficult? We have days when we feel, oh, remembering Papa, it's happening so easily, so naturally. And then there are some days where we're trying to make effort, you know, trying to make more effort. So when you remember the father with a relationship and with love, remembrance is not difficult. Also remember the attainments. The bestower of all attainments has given you all attainments. So do you experience yourself to be full of all treasures. Pap Dada has also told you the easy way to accumulate the treasures. The way to attain all the imperishable treasures is a dot. Yes, so simple. Put a dot to everything. Remember Baba and put a dot to all the side scenes of the drama to all the uh, things that taking us away from our aim and objective. Just as perishable treasures increase by adding a zero, similarly, the method to accumulate the imperishable treasures is also a dot. There are the three dots. The soul is a dot. The father is a dot and whatever happens in the drama is a full stop that is a dot. So I, the soul, am a point of light. Papa is also a point of light, a dot. And then whatever happens in the drama. 
considering it to be beneficial, considering it to be what is meant to happen. Yes, and the acceptance comes. When there is acceptance, then only we can have contentment. So we develop this feeling of acceptance, acceptance towards the samskaras of others, accepting situations that come and they may come all of a sudden. So the more we start to accept, the more there is inner contentment and that inner contentment is what leads us towards happiness. So three dots. So do you know how to apply a dot? What is the easiest punctuation mark to apply? Is it to apply a dot? So a soul is a dot. The father is a dot. And though this, through this awareness, your treasures automatically accumulate. By remembering the dot in a second, you receive so much happiness. All of these treasures are the right of your Brahman life. Because to be a child means to have a right and especially have a right to the three relationships. So the three main relationships that Baba always underlines. God is your father, your teacher, and also your Sadhguru. Through these three relationships, you attain sustenance. The study, which is the source of income and blessings from the Satguru. You receive blessings so easily. It is a child's birth to receive blessings from the father. So of course, Papa talks about these three main relationships, but you have so many other relationships that we have not with Papa, with Papa. And one of the ones which are very special is relationship with Papa being our friend. So Baba is checking every child's account of accumulation. All of you should also check your account of accumulation at every moment. The method to check whether you have accumulated or not is whatever actions you performed, you yourself should be content. And whoever you perform that action with should also be content. So it's really about contentment. Right? So in order to work towards contentment, there's acceptance to things. If there is contentment in both, then you can understand that you have accumulated in your account. If there isn't contentment in yourself or in the one with whom you perform, that action, then you have it accumulated. So, what was really talking about contentment being extremely important. And contentment is what leads us towards success. If we are working together, if we are serving together, at the end, are, are our hearts filled with contentment for what was offered through the service? The so Dada also continues to warn all of you children about the time. This present time of the confluence age is the most elevated of all throughout the whole cycle because it is in this confluence age that is the time to sow the seeds of elevated actions. It is the time to attain the practical instant fruit. Every second of the confluence is the most elevated of all. Can all of you become stable in a bodyless stage in one second? Bab Dada has shown you an easy method. Adopt a method for constant remembrance. All of you speak to words throughout the day. And you say these, those words many times. Those two words are I and mine. 
When you say the word I, the Father has given you the introduction. I, the soul. So whenever you say the word I, then remember I, the soul, or I am a soul. Do not think I alone. So, it's a wonderful awareness to keep each time we use the word I. And we type the word I many times. It could be in a message. It could be in an email. We use the word I also often. So when we are using the words, when you're typing this, this particular letter I, yes, are we remaining in the awareness that I am a soul? So the more we do it, we're practicing. Practicing staying in the awareness of I being a soul or I am a soul together with this think I am a soul. Because you know that you are an elevated soul, that you are a soul who is within godly sustenance. And when you say the word mine, who is mine? My Baba, and that is God the Father. So whenever you say the words I and mine, then make this addition. I the soul and my Baba. The more you bring about the consciousness of mind with the father, the easier your remembrance will become because you never forget anything that is yours. Okay, so it is yours. Again, we remember. And it's all about remembering the, what, is, what, what is close to us. So that's what Baba says. Now in your consciousness, of mind, have that consciousness with Baba, that Baba's mind. And because of the sense of belongingness, you naturally remember. The remembrance will become more. Throughout the day, you only remember the things that are yours. With this method, you can easily become constant yogi, right? We remember things that we have to do, right? Which are connected with our tasks or my task i have to do all of this during the whole day and we do it accordingly so now baba says include baba in your dictionary when you use the word mine so that even that remembrance is natural and constant baba that has made every child sit on the seat of self-respect if you bring the list of self-respect in your awareness, it is such a long list. You are, when you are stable in your self-respect, there cannot be body consciousness. There will either be body consciousness or self-respect. The meaning of self-respect is to come from that place of elevated awareness that is the soul. So are all of you stable in your self-respect? The more you are stable in your self-respect, the more natural it will be to give respect to others. It is so easy to remain stable in your self-respect. Yes, and that's why the faith in yourself comes first from all the and then the four types of faith that we have first is faith in the self. So when we develop faith in the self, that's when uh, our step of courage comes. Yes, am I appreciating what I'm doing? Uh, and do I feel worthy? Feel worthy within, right? Of what I am contributing. Now, how can we increase the self-worth? Whatever little I do, look at it, appreciate it. That's why Baba says, Wa Baba Wa is important, but Wa Re Me is also important. Looking at yourself, appreciating for what con you're contributing through your thoughts, words, and deeds for the upliftment for others, for this world, for nature. Yes, so that self appreciation is important, and that really leads to self love. So, no, many people say that when I came to Baba, I started to love myself more. <laughs> yes, because naturally, uh, when our thoughts are becoming pure, positive, uh, it, it helps us 
maintain that respect that we have for ourselves. When we start to criticize internally ourselves, others, that's when, when we lose the self-respect. So again, you know, what is what can I do from my end to increase my self-respect? And one of those things that Baba shares is always keeping your awareness. All those points that I have shared with you of how worthy you are. So are you looking at yourself the way Baba wants you or the way Baba sees you? Baba sees me as a very special soul. Do I feel special from within? And I feel the same way how Baba's looking at me. Then I'm moving towards self-respect. So here Baba says, do all of you remain happy? Those who remain happy themselves also make others happy. Baba always says, never lose your happiness throughout the day. Why? Happiness is such that in just that happiness, there is help, there is wealth, and you are also happy. If there isn't happiness, life is without sweetness. And if you just look at a flower, why does the flower, you know, does that flower blossom for anyone else? The flower just blossoms because it is a flower. Even if no one's around, the flower will blossom and the fragrance will be there. Yes, because that is the nature of the flower. So it's about like happiness coming from within. I'm not showing happiness in order to um, you know, show to the world that I'm happy. So sometimes it's about just showing others I'm happy, but internally there is a happiness. But here we understand what true meaning of happiness is. It's doing things that make me happy. It's following my heart. And uh, most important, we are aligned to our true form. And from there, the virtue of happiness naturally emerges. So if there is isn't happiness, life is without sweetness. If it is of happiness, it is of happiness that it is said, there is no treasure like happiness. So they say happiness is the best medicine. It's the best nourishment. So no matter how many treasures you may have, if you haven't got happiness, then you cannot attain anything from the treasures. It is of happiness that it is said there is no nourishment like happiness. So wealth is happiness and health is happiness. Yes, so our health and our wealth is both happiness. Happy is said, and so you are happy anyway. So there are all of these three things in happiness. The Father has given you the treasure of imperishable happiness. Do not lose the Father's treasures. So do you always remain happy? Bab Dada has given you a homework to remain happy and to distribute happiness because happiness is such that the more you distribute it, the more it will increase. Yes, seeing you happy, someone will become happy. So it's contagious. So have you experienced this? You have experienced this, have you not? If you distribute happiness before distributing, it increases in you. When you please someone, you yourself become happy. So have all of you done your homework? Have you? Those who have done it, raise your hands. Those who have done it, to remain happy not to give reasons and excuses, but to be an embodiment of solutions. Raise your hands. Now you will not say that this happened, will you? Some children have written to Bhaptada with their result, saying to what percentage they remained okay. If you keep the aim, you personally develop the qualification for the aim. What are we doing, going to do now? So this is the best Valentine gift you can give to Baba. Just remain happy and spread the happiness.
So now it's time for turn for Karnataka to serve. So those from Karnataka stand up. It is good. Those from Karnataka have taken a golden chance because now at the confluence age, you receive an instant fruit. There is accumulation. But the instant fruit is that you receive instant happiness at that time. For however many days you did service, you did experience instant happiness in yourself. Did you experience happiness? Raise your hands. Did Maya come? She didn't come. Those who didn't have Maya, raise your hands. Did the Pandavas of Maya, did a little bit of Maya come? Acha, the atmosphere here is very cooperative. Scientists can change the atmosphere with the power of science. Yes, so we can even have artificial clouds and, and rain. Right, so how they can change the atmosphere. They can change heat into coolness, right? We have air conditioners, so how we change um, the temperatures in the house, in the room. So they create the atmosphere, do they not? In the cold, they can create an atmosphere of warmth. And uh, we can, uh, so here it says, we can, we can, um, and in cold, they can create an atmosphere of warmth. The power of silence creates an atmosphere of the awareness of spirituality. When you do service here, what is the awareness you have? This is service of the Yajna. The charity for the Yajna is very great. When you do service in this imperishable Yajna, your attitude becomes elevated. The atmosphere becomes elevated. Now what speciality will those from Karnataka reveal? Demonstrated by performing a new task. The numbers of Karnataka are huge and the area of service is also very large. Those from Karnataka can do this great task and that is that no small place of Karnataka should remain without being served. Otherwise, they will complain. Our father came and did not inform us. You don't give, you didn't give us the message. This complaint should not remain. So this message has to spread everywhere. So no one comes and says that we didn't receive this message. Those from Africa succeeded in giving the message to their area. Bab Dada likes this task. No one should complain. Your task is to give the message. Whether they come now or later, you have to accomplish your task. When those from Karnataka come next year, what will they have done? No area should remain unserved because you know that when souls receive the father's introduction and come into relationship with him, they will become very happy. Now day by day, sorrow and peacelessness are increasing because day by day, corruption and sin are increasing. So this more impurity, more sorrow. They are going into extreme, but you know what happens after the extreme. There is the end. When does the, what does the end bring? The end brings a new beginning. So really the end is a start of the new cycle, the new beginning. They are your brothers because you have the same father. Whether they know they accept or not accept, the father is the father. Definitely give your message to your brothers and sisters. So what will you do? You will keep a record, teachers. No village should remain. Raise your hands, those who are going to do it. Don't raise your hands just like that. Will you do it? So 
Bob is asking us to be completely dedicated towards the service. Send the result after you've gone back. Make a plan. You have to perform wonders, do you not? The more you remain engaged in performing wonders, the more little aspects of chaos will finish. You have a good chance. You have taken a chance. You will also carry out the task for which you have received the opportunity. Are you sure, Pandavas? Are you sure? Don't get tired. So much charity will be accumulated. It is good. Bapta is also pleased that the children are increasing their account of charity with a variety of methods. Bapta has already told you, accumulate three accounts. One is the account of accumulation through your own efforts. The second one is the account of charity of making others, souls, content. Contentment accumulates in your account of charity. So one is real effort. Second is making others content. The third is the account of loving relationships and service with your mind and words. So check all three accounts. Nothing should be lacking in all three. So will you claim number one? Claim number one in your account of accumulation. Your Karnataka, you're no less. Karnataka is in Bhaktada's vision. You can do a lot. You are in Baba's vision in this way. Those who are standing in the first row, what are you going to do? You will perform wonders, will you not? Perform wonders and claim a number. Self-progress and progress in service. Keep a balance of both. So it's balance in all aspects. And spirituality teaches us to keep balance. Uh, so, yes, you're both, you're, you, you yourself are progressing in this field, but also you're contributing towards the progress of others. It is fine. You can sit down. Dadi Janki said, Mama started service in Bangalore. Dadi, Hridaya Pushpa and Sundri Ben served there with a lot of love. Child Hridaya Pushpa served with a lot of love. So you have to give the proof of the love you received. So you can give Baba the proof of your love. And how? By just following what Baba is telling you. Not because you have to do, because you, you really want to do. You really want to give uh, in return to what Baba is giving you, giving you so much love, giving you so much guidance through knowledge. And now by following Baba Srimad, we are really giving that return. So you have to give the return of service of Mother Jagadamba. In how many days will you give the news of service? Give your news every month. We did this. This is happening. This is going to happen. Bapta is telling every zone, however, especially those who, whose turn it is, have to pay attention. Just so, this was about numberly we read, so we'll cover this much. Uh, and we will take a minute to reflect on what we just heard, and then we can share amongst each other.
All right. So would any of you like to share some of the points that touched your hearts from the movie you heard? Om Shanti. Good morning, everyone. I have two takeaway points from this Murli. Very nice Murli and very well rendered. Uh, the, my, the first point is, uh, my, my first takeaway point is, the lovelier the remembrance, the more natural is the relationship. I like this point. And the other one is, where there is when there is acceptance, only then there is contentment. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, good morning, angels. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, beautiful Murli, like what sister mentioned. Mm, my takeaway point is, truly I agree. Baba says, only if I'm happy, I can make others happy. I have to realize happiness is my birthright and the greatest treasure I've received from God. It comes as a package, health, wealth, and happiness. There's no meaning to life if we don't have happiness. And especially after God has found us, if we don't have happiness, because he has removed us from the depth of hell. And yet, if we don't have happiness, something very wrong. We have to check and change. Where did I go wrong? Because there, there's no meaning to life, no sweetness in life, Baba says. So when we distribute, it increases. And it is truly contagious. We can see when children, you know, small children, babies, when they're happy, they're, you know, giving their sweet smile. We really feel so happy. Om Shanti, angels. Om Shanti, Didi. Om Shanti. Very true, Renu Didi. You told about happiness. Yesterday, we read a Vyakt Murli of 1970, there it was mentioned by Baba that Baba Vandana Karte hai jo matai, Vandi Matram word, no? Vandana Karte hai un matam ki jo hamesha kush rehti hai. This, this is very good point. And uh, we'll also try to uh, implement this um, means constant happiness. And today, my takeaway point is happiness also. And this also that uh, constant remembrance to how I was thinking how we can uh, uh, like uh, bring it into practical. So I was thinking ki one, one hour if we take like uh, for one hour constant remembrance while doing work, like in Sakar Murli also, there is uh, mentioned that uh, karm yogi ka, karm or yoga ka balance. So uh, is it possible that uh, while doing karmas, we uh, can remember God for one hour at least because while doing karma, it's very difficult to uh, remember God. So how can uh, it be possible if we like for eight hours, Baba says eight hours at least we have to be in remembrance. So how it is possible, Didi, can you uh, explain a little bit? Sure, and I'll just share the personal experience uh, that happened a uh, few months back. And uh, now when Baba talks about making relationship constant, in, Baba, in today's Murli, he even gave the answer. We can make it constant by having all relationships with Baba and keeping your attainments in front of you. And... Um, you know, I was just once, uh, you know, having a heart to heart conversation with Baba and I was like, yeah, Baba, it's easy to see you as a friend, as a father, as a teacher. But how do I see you as a child? <laughs> That's something that, uh, you know, the soul is not able to experience. And, uh, and I just put it in front of Baba and after that, uh, and didn't even think anything more about it. And then it so happened that, um, uh, there was a, one day when uh, there were a lot of things happening, just one after the other, one after the other. And uh, you know, in the center, um, I was working. And then after that, there was, again, a lot of seva things to do. And by the end, and everything got over, it was almost 9 or 9.15. And then uh, you know, it came in the mind that we haven't offered Baba anything today because we were literally just eating uh, fruits or whatever was left back from the previous day we had lot of other things going on and then we had to you know we have to offer Baba every day so I was just in my mind joking with Baba I was like 
Well, but can we please offer you tomorrow? It's already nine. It's night time, and we've had <laughs> such a long day. <laughs> so you know, just like a friend, you have a conversation internally, and then it, there was a thought that came in the mind, and it was a very strong thought that came in the mind that if you had a hungry child at home. would you just leave that child hungry no matter how tired you are <laughs> and i could actually see a small child in front of me who's hungry <laughs> and i was like i wouldn't have the heart to not feed this child i would make sure that the child gets more than enough to eat and then quickly you know baba answered the question uh, which you know was asked from the heart and then after that of course bob was offered so how you know that that relationship of friendship when we put things in front of baba baba gives us the answers and baba helps us experience so now every time when i'm cooking i always remember i'm cooking for a child so yes. baba i'm cooking for you you will i'm going to offer to a very sweet child you will make this uh, this you know you make this bog very very sweet with your vibrations and this 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 energy that you put in this food will then be served to everyone else Jesus. so the happiness with which a mother would cook for a child you know that you start experiencing that happiness <laughs> so, so it's about you know connecting to baba in these relationships uh, that he shares about and again you know keeping your attainments in front of you um, who's child and i'm baba's child and this baba's child is doing service so even when you're washing dishes you know you're scrubbing you remind yeah. yourself you know just like i'm washing these utensils now i'm remembering baba and i'm even cleaning what's there within me yeah. there is one sister she doesn't like to do ironing and then she to, you know make up her mind like i have to you know enjoy even this this task of ironing clothes so every time she sees the clothes she's like oh here are all the sanskar old sanskaras which is the, you know the wrinkled the uh, you know the clo- the clothes that we have to then press so then as we are ironing we're straightening up we're straightening up our sanskaras and look how nice ultimately oh after it's ironed it looks like right so how you know the small small locking things how how baba says make everything locking into a locking so everything in think in terms of gyan everything you know bring baba's point in your awareness and use that point while doing your actions and you'll see how it naturally helps you become a community beautiful thank you this is thank you so much om shanti sister a uh, very beautiful modli on happiness and actually i could experience that happiness while you were talking so very nicely rendered and like the other sisters said today is a happy valentines day to everyone and i just wanted to share a little experience that for many days i was wanting to order the full set of books of baba in english you know the avyakt modli the whole hard copies and i was trying to order it was not happening i was speaking to some sister this that it was not happening then finally i just left it to baba when is the right time you send me those books finally i found a way and i ordered the books and they arrived just two days before valentines day and i told my worldly husband and my family this is our valentines day gift because it has come at the exact time which spreads happiness and love in the entire family because now everybody can read those books there's so many of them and uh, uh, you know this is i i just experienced that he wanted me to get it on this day this was my personal feeling and to share it because valentines means sharing your love with whoever is around you so i thought i'll just share this little experience and i have not yet started reading uh, from those books but i'm going to begin it today on happy valentines day om shanti om shanti thanks for sharing that om shanti um today baba said to be seated on the seat of swaman when we be seated remain seated on the seat of swaman we start appreciating ourselves our small small roles and so, so we remain contented and we are in a state to respect others so this give, makes our relationships strong and we re- become successful in our relationships so baba said to be contented always to be
uh, uh, always uh, uh, we remember the uh, like a flower he gave a wonderful example that a flower does not think that no one is around me it just uh, keeps blossoming so i get inspired today also to keep blossoming and uh, keep myself happy always keep myself in the elevated stage so that i can spread the vibra vibrations in the entire world all the time om shanti thank you anybody else would like to share okay then we'll move towards meditation shanti this beautiful day experiencing and expressing love i first of all spend a few moments to love myself i realize who i am valuable a precious jewel of baba who has such a holy highest art in this world like me i my dedication but following baba's directions i play such an important part in the cycle I now detach from this body to become an angel and I go to baba in the subtle region I see baba dada and you know and I see that baba dada sending me with a red rose flower I take that rose and baba tells me now look what's around the rose and i see many thorns but at the top there is the flower it's radiating immense fragrance baba shares with me the more thorns in a rose flower the more fragrant it is When I face situations, challenges, when I face my faults and errors, I have to remind myself that I'm actually a very brilliant one. I don't focus on those faults, but I focus on how fragrant. Keep that rose. 
Om Shanti. Thank you, Sneha Ben. Thank you, all of you. Let's spread the love vibration today to whomever we meet. See you tomorrow at 5 30 a.m. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Amin. Sister Om Shanti. Amin. And Bhati Pyara, it was a wonderful experience in the beginning before Murli. I went into very deep experience of that uh, being uh, the direct loving child of and special Valentine's blessings. And Murli was so empowering. And everyone, all of you, my wonderful Baba's ultimate Valentine, spread the love into each and every cell of this own universe. Keep spreading. We all are the Basihas of love. Om Shanti. Happy celebrations. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Mita Parivar.